Are you the kind of person that finds something cool on the internet, like an interesting video or an article you want to read and go, yeah, I'll definitely look at that later when I have time. And then you just completely forget and that piece of content disappears forever. Well, in this video, I'll show you how you can use a Chrome extension called Save to Notion alongside a simple template to effortlessly save and capture anything you find on the web. This can be great if you find something educational that you want to read later or a web resource that you want to look at more deeply and just don't have the time for it right now. Okay, I'm going to first demonstrate how this works. So I have my bookmark tracker here. And let's say I found an interesting article, say on Notion AI. As I'm reading through the article and I think, yeah, I want to save this for later, I can come over to the Chrome extension, click on Save to Notion. I could then maybe give it a topic for educational and then just click on Save Page. Now, if I continue reading and I find something interesting, I could then highlight a piece of text, right click and click on Add Highlight. And this will save the highlight to the previously saved bookmark. So I'll click on Save to Notion. Maybe I keep reading, find something else that I find interesting, maybe some of these features, highlight it, click on Add Highlight, save. Now, if I come back to the bookmark tracker here, I can see that the Notion AI article has appeared in the inbox. So I can open up this here and I can see all of the highlights I made. Once I think that's okay, I can then change it from inbox to done. And we can see that the article has appeared here. I can also view it by topic as well. Now let's say I found an interesting video, say four million suns in a black hole over New York. If you haven't seen this video, definitely highly recommend, really interesting. And I could do the exact same thing. I can click on save, uh, but this time I could go to content and click on video. We'll click on save page, close the pop-up, and we'll come back to our bookmark tracker here. And now we can see that the video has embedded in the content. And so this is a really good way of saving videos that you want to watch for later. Okay, now I'll show you how you can set up one of these bookmark trackers uh, for yourself using Save to Notion. So the first thing we need to do is to come over to the Save to Notion Chrome extension and add this to our Chrome browser. We'll click on Add Extension. Great, and then we'll pin it to our bar. We'll click on Save to Notion here. Now if we click on Save to Notion, it may ask us to sign in so we can sign in with our own Notion account. And then we should see something like this. So before we add a form to save to Notion, we're going to create our bookmark tracker first. And this is really simple. We'll start with a blank page and we'll call this bookmark tracker, make this full width, and we'll add two databases. We'll add a database for, call it my bookmarks. And we'll add another database and we'll call this my bookmark topics. Okay, we'll delete the tags here, and then we'll link the two with a relation property. So we'll click on relation, click on my bookmark topics. We'll show on my bookmark topics here, click add. There we go. Let's just change this to topics. Now we can add in some bookmark topics. So let's maybe call this one educational, maybe in, inspirational, maybe tutorials. We'll now change this from table view to gallery view. We'll change this to none here. There we go. We can hide these titles as well. Let's rename this to topics, give it a little tag. We'll now add a status property to our bookmark database. So we'll come over here, click on status. We're going to delete the in progress one. So we'll delete that here and we're going to change the not started. We're going to call this inbox. Let's slide this over here. Maybe clean this up a little bit. We'll hide all of these. So this is how we're going to create our bookmark inbox. So whenever we save something, the thing we save will go directly to the inbox for us to review. And then we can change its status to done and it will be removed from the inbox. And so let's change this to inbox here. We can add an icon here. Let's then add a filter here for status. And we're going to click on is inbox. Okay, great. We'll then copy the link here. We're going to copy this down here, create another view. We'll click on inbox, but we're going to change this to all. We'll then change the filter to is not inbox. Now let's make this a little more organized by adding in two columns and we'll put the topics and inbox side by side. We can do this by just typing in slash col2 to add in two columns. 
We'll then drag our inbox to the top here and then drag our topics to the right. Let's rearrange this a little bit, make this a little cleaner. Okay, and there we go. And that's the basic form of our bookmark tracker. Now the next step is to connect Save to Notion to our bookmark tracker. So we can click on Save to Notion here. We can click on Add Form, select Database, and we're going to select our My Bookmarks database. We can then remove this template property here. We'll just remove this and we can add in one new field and this will be the topics. And so whenever we save a resource, we can select which topic it will go to. Click on save and go back and that's it. Now let's say we find a really cool website like this notionforteachers.com website and we wanna save this for later so we can check it out and look at it more deeply. We'll come over to save to notion we can then select content as empty web page or select one we'll just leave it empty we can click on topic maybe inspirational and now if we click save we can see that our new bookmark has appeared here in the inbox so we can click on this we can take a look seems good and then we can change it from status to done one additional thing we can do is in our topics we can click on here we can go to bookmarks show as page section and then they will show up here as well. And that's all it takes to get started using Save to Notion. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. And if you want a free version of this bookmark tracker that I made in the video, check out the link in the description down below.